welcome to another episode of Slave Sermon. song is the catchy, repetitive theme that is emphasized throughout the sermon. Hooks allow preachers to sell their sermons more effectively by reinforcing the message over and over and over. Get up. You've been sleeping too long. Get up. You've been in bondage too long. Get up. You've been struggling with the same bad habit too long. Sevenfold joy, some sevenfold peace, some sevenfold strength. They who stumbled over their own feet, they who were double tongued and double minded, they who ran up your credit card bill. I guarantee you. Next, we have the storm chaser. Preachers, usually at the beginning of their sermons, deliberately point out all the bad stuff that's going on in our lives. They calculatingly place people in storm clouds because it gives them the opportunity to act as the sunshine and come to their rescue towards the end of their sermons. You're worried about your bills. You're worried about your son. You, you're worried about your house. You're worried about your health. For those of you who are going through some big stuff, I ain't talking to those of you going through little stuff. That on the darkest day of your life, your back is against the wall and it looks like there's no way for you to go any further when you thought you were going to die and you thought you couldn't take it anymore. I guarantee you. Next, there's the assigner. Assigners give their congregations assignments to do. One must constantly turn to, slap, hug, high five, or say something to the person sitting next to them, usually called their neighbor. Assignments provide interaction between the preacher and the people. Assignments also keep the people busy and provide an element of entertainment while igniting the most boring of sermons. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, give somebody a high five. Touch your neighbor. Go run to about five people. Tell them I'm leaving out of here with a miracle. Look at somebody say, please be real. Look at your neighbor and say, God didn't do it, but he knew it. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't have to get out of trouble. Come on, tell your neighbor. I guarantee you. Keep hope alive. Next, we have the hope dealer. Hope dealers promise that today, tomorrow, or sometime in the near future, that everything will be just fine. Preachers understand the importance of hope and how it once served blacks on the plantation. Administering large doses of hope is one of the most effective tools available to preachers. The kingdom is coming! The kingdom is coming! Don't worry about it. God's already fixed it. This year, God's getting ready to take me to a whole nother level. Tell your neighbor, make room for your blessing. But I hear come to tell you tonight that God is getting ready to thrust the mantle on you. But the money is coming now. It's going to be released to God's people. You see your money tonight in Jesus' name. I guarantee you. Then we have the messenger. Messengers are the self-appointed prophets. They make bold claims about how God has given them specific messages to share with their congregation. Messengers distinguish themselves as chosen representatives of God. This instantly establishes reverence, respect, and authority. God simply told me to let you know tonight, and the Lord told me to tell you, today is your last crying payment. 
See, God told me to tell you. So God is telling me right now to tell you. You know what the Lord told me? He said, family, I'm getting ready to turn some wigs around. But I am God's messenger. I guarantee you. Lastly, we have the terrorist. A terrorist's goal is literally to frighten the hell out of people. Playing the devil card is a clever tool to ensure that people will be afraid not to attend church. And the little shot came up on my side. It gives you the ability to keep the devil at bay. That's the devil telling you that. Satan wants a different gospel priest. Devil wants your mind. Whether it's hooking, storm chasing, assigning, hope dealing, messaging, or terrorizing. If we are aware, there are some preachers that incorporate all six techniques in every Sunday sermon. I guarantee you. I'm in a faith fight. I'm in a faith fight, baby. I'm in a faith fight. I'm in a faith fight. I'm in a faith fight. Before you go in the storm, and you ain't even know if you was going to make it this far. This ain't the first time you've had a little hell hit your life. The doctor gave up on you. Before you go in your storm, if y'all shake your neighbor's hands, and y'all look over your left shoulder, turn around in your section and say, baby, y'all touch your neighbor. Nothing but goodness and blessings to follow. Goodness and mercy is getting ready to follow you. Now you can get ready for some blessings coming your direction. God told me to tell y'all, but God told me to tell somebody, and God told me to tell some folk up here. But God told me to tell you, it ain't the first time the devil has messed with you. It ain't the first time the devil has tried to rob you of relationships. This year, the devil wanted to rob you of some stuff. Is that no matter what hell the devil throws your direction.